Hey, what is this? Godot? Dude, we use Godot. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Angel Sword uses Godot for one of our games. Oh, no. Wokot. Uh-oh. So, like, yeah. Apparently, there's some Godot. Godot situation right now. Which is really unfortunate because Angel Sword, we do do game development. And this is actually the engine we use. So, what's going on? If you guys are not familiar with Godot... It's a, it's a game making engine. It's kind of like Unity. We went with it because there was the whole drama with Unity. So we went with Godot instead. Let's see what happened here. Replying to Godot engine, focus on the engine and not politics. You're blocked. Oh my God, they're titanium. Dude, they've been donating for a long time. Founder of Life Art Studios, a community focused game company. Apparently game engines are woke now. Well then, comma, we don't we won't complain show us your woke 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 games right now what woke woke I'm trying to say like a woke joke here uh below wait what wait what started this what's with the snarky comment what started this they just posted this out of nowhere wait what was this in response to from what i've heard it's a rogue community manager most likely just hired uh oh Oh, here's the context. Awesome game engine. It's Unreal 5. Oh, so you people can't develop for shit. It makes sense, doesn't it? Woke Studios always use pre-built engines to make games because they can't build their own engines. To be fair, this is kind of a stupid comment because why reinvent the wheel, right? Like if you don't need a new engine, why would you make one? It is a stupid comment. It's a massive overreaction by Godot. Yeah, not everyone has the time to build a freaking game engine from scratch. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, that is kind of dumb, but but this is so weird Godot has a community manager that is going on a period rampage because people don't 100 agree with the insane politics this is so weird to me this is such a nonsense like post but why would you even reply to this guy if you're the community manager of like a brand why would you post this on main why would you reply to this on main do you know what i mean like that's such a stupid thing your entire job as a community manager is to not like stick your face in the fire like why the fuck would you do that this is like such a dumb thing to reply to as a as a person who's a community manager this is stupid your whole job is to not aggro you know what i mean like you don't want to like cause any fucking issues unless those issues are specifically positions that the company wants to like engage in like for instance um there's some gun companies they will engage in sort of topics like this just because that's their whole thing they want to be like you know hyper masculine or whatever and they want to just get in there and talk shit and that's fine that's your strategy but it's kind of weird for a um a game engine to do that it just seems really like a bad idea to kind of kick the hornet's nest for no reason um anywho so it looks like the actual problem at least the problem i see here is that one of their supporters says focus on the engine and not on politics this is a completely valid thing to say if you're a supporter right like if you're support i mean this person obviously they support the game i mean they 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 have receipts right that they're one of the high tier supporters of go uh of godot and then they're just saying like hey can you just like not don't focus on uh, focus on the engine not on politics yeah because they're a company that makes a game engine right so that's oh this is the tip of the iceberg i see all right i'm nobody with no stakes here but there are less than 20 people donating 100 euros a month to this engine the fact that you are one of those very few means you care a lot even if both sides disagree on politics you deserve a measure of respect for that support that's absent yeah exactly you don't do this this is ridiculous. LGBTQ rights isn't political. It's basic human rights. I don't think that, okay, you know, to be honest, and this is a little bit of a hot take, I don't think that LGBTQ rights has anything to do with woke. I think that the woke thing is kind of separate from it. There is like a certain activism, a good comparison. You can simultaneously think that racism is bad and then also think that the way that people are going about that is a bad thing. Do you see what I'm saying? People doing this are basically trying to really straw man the argument. Oh, well, you're you're not okay with like this entire like compendium of things that we believe in. You're not into this. Well, obviously you don't like LGBTQ rights. Obviously you want them to die. And it's freaking ridiculous. It's so stupid. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, you yeah, exactly. Well, Lex said, you like pancakes, so you hate waffles. Yeah, exactly. Like what the fuck? you know uh, th this is why this is so dumb and then like th this is this is like what they use all the time dude like honestly this is what they do constantly and i'm gonna tell you like i have a lot of friends 
who are LGBTQ and they fucking hate this. They hate, they hate this shit. And it's like, it's because you can't win an argument or you don't even want to have the argument. So you basically force the person into like, oh, you're like literally Hitler. You want us to die. You, you take it like to the maximum. Even though it's like not what they're saying at all. And it's so annoying, I think. And again, like a lot of my friends who are LGBTQ think this is really fucking annoying too. Someone will fuck a project and make a new thing and go, Godot will die. No, shit. We're developing our game on Godot. Oh, God, this is the fucking worst. Okay, my official statement on this matter. Focus on the engine and not on politics. Please. Focus on the engine and not on politics. I don't want to get collateraled by this, man. Fuck. Godot engine Discord mod replies to the drama. And as you can guess, they blame the chuds for everything. Hey, that is isn't that me? Everyone calls me a chud. I still don't understand it, but I get called that all the time. The drama isn't created by Godot, who is made and who who just made a nice tweet to surface cool indie games. Did you, you want to know another thing that kind of bothers me? And again, like, I don't know how many people will agree with me on this, but it bothers me when people take a game and they're like, this game has a special quality because it's made by X group of people. That doesn't fucking mean anything. All that matters is if your game is good. And it's so irritating to me when people are like, yeah, our game is developed by minorities or our game is developed by gay people. Like, or I don't get it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't matter. All that matters is like, how good is the game? Is like the price you're charging for it, like a good ratio to the value that you're receiving? That's all that matters. Is it like well-designed? Does it play good? Does it feel good? Do you have fun playing it? I, I don't care, you know, what the other person, like what they are. Yeah, it's a huge red flag for me, like the classic bait of made by developers of X game. Well, that's different. I actually think that's a little bit different. I'll retro all. I see what you're saying, but I think it's a little bit different because if you say made by the developers of X game, that means that they created something. It gives you more info into whether or not the game will be good or not. Whereas like, uh, um, I'm making this game and I'm gay. Like, it doesn't tell me anything about your ability to make a game. Whereas if you said, I worked on this game before and I'm working on this game now, you're like, okay, I played that game before. That gives me a little bit of information of like, okay, like I, I kind of like that game. So like maybe your next game will be good. You know what I mean? To be fair, Black for, dude, that game was so bad. I'll, Back for Blood, dude, that game was terrible. Yeah, fair. That's fair. But even then, it's still better info than the other thing, right? Then, then my skin is a certain color and I made this game. Like, I don't know what that means. Like, I'm not about to buy a game because the person who made it has the same skin color as me. That's fucking weird. <laughs> That's fucking so weird. I, I don't, oh man, I don't understand. All right, anyway. The drama is created by reactionary insecure cowards who have nothing better than to do in their days than to shit on something they are unconcerned with. No, I mean, the guy just said, like, work on the fucking thing and stop trying to make a crusade out of it because that's not your job. Like, why are you wasting your time doing this? You know, like they even feel persecuted because other people exist and are visible. Isn't this what they do, though? Hold up. Isn't this what the other side does all the time? Like the woke people? This is what they do. They feel persecuted because people exist. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really starting to think all of this is just projection. But honestly, that turns me off on anything. You clearly care about your politics, more, more about your politics and your product. Yeah, exactly. This is this is crazy. These people's cowardice and small mindedness is a danger to a danger. Yeah. They're the filth of humanity. Holy shit. The filth of humanity. Because you said you want to. <laughs> this is wild. And banning them is a kindness to everyone. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Including themselves. You got to keep the You got to keep the echo chamber like clean. You know what I mean? They keep it nice and tidy. Uh, and that way they can continue to pretend that the world is not is made only of cowards like them and not be subjected to people that are different. Wait, hold on. But isn't that what they do? Because I'm pretty sure that the quote unquote woke people, they're the ones who are like, hey, we have like a room and it's only for like people, you know, it's only for, for people of color or it's only for gay people. And if you're not, you're not allowed in this room. Am I wrong? 
they're the ones who don't want to be subjected to people that are not of the same thought process as them yeah so for for me the only problem of this tweet is that it doesn't happen every day so more of those imbeciles can be banned they should be doing these tweets like every third and anyone who has a problem with them can fuck off to oblivion and then fuck off some more what kind of like dude what is th this person is a freaking community manager what kind of community manager talks like this this is ridiculous anyone having a slight issue with it here can fuck off too to not have a, a mode drama it's very easily there will be no more drama the day those drama queen the drama queens stop getting their panties in the knot around anything that doesn't concern them see something that doesn't concern you in any way just do your best to be a normal human being about it and there will be no drama this is fucking weird man <laughs> you know what it's like dude it, this it just reminds me of this reminds me of like why do you even care and it's like okay fine i don't care why don't you care <laughs> it's like dude it's so funny it's so fun dude you're fucked no matter what you do you're fucked dude it's like it, dude it's a uh it's a it's a it's a, it's a trap man it's a fucking trap this is so you have no right of speech here because I consider your speech to be toxic vomit. Um, okay. If you think inviting queer people to share their games is politics, you're a toxic piece of fuck, an evil human, and I want you to feel disrespected and to fucked off as fast as you can. I, I mean, I kind of feel like it is politics because again, like I don't, I, again, I don't think it matters. I don't think like, like, I don't know, it's so weird to me. Like, so so here's the thing. Say they made a game, right? And I, I've, I've made this I've made this connection before, right? Say they made a game, and the game is specifically about being gay. Let's just say, for instance, like, there's a visual novel, right? And the visual novel is, like, gay, and it's about, like, you know, it, the, main, the main protagonist is gay, and it's a, it's a visual novel made for gay people. Because, you know, obviously, visual novels... Um, a lot of the times are about like love and romance, right? So making a game like that, or for instance, highlighting that, uh, let's say like a game like Baldur's Gate has like the ability to be gay in it, right? Things like that. I think those actually do kind of matter. Um, I, I don't see anything wrong with saying like, hey, we're going to highlight some games where you can be gay so that people who are gay can like see this list and then they can be like, oh, cool. Like I can, um, you know, I'm looking for that kind of a romance in my games because, you know, like, you know, like, oh, like I'm a gay person and I want to, I want to play a game where I can romance people in the same way I would, because like, I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a girl that likes girls. So it's like, I want to play like a game like that. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. Do you guys see the difference between like, we want to showcase games that have gay experiences in them, right? Like it, it's a, it's a game about love and it, and it has that, but why does it matter who you want to fuck for just the base level of the game? Shai says, this is very relevant to me. I do appreciate games made for me like that, but I don't expect every game to ever to have the option of girls loving girls. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Shai hundred percent. The difference between a games made for gay people and a games made for gay. Well, 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 no. So, so what I mean is like, if, if for instance, say they made a tweet that said, Hey, hey, game developers, showcase your games that allow you to be that that have gay romance in them. Do you see how like that is a different thing than showcase games made by gay people? Because one of them matters and the other doesn't. Do you see what I mean? One of them doesn't mean anything, whereas the other one does mean something. So th th this is, again, the problem I have with this shit is that we're the thing that's being highlighted is shit that doesn't matter. You could do the same thing with race. You could say like, oh, this is a game that features like experiences from like different cultures, right? As in like, you're playing a character from a different culture and you're going to learn about a different culture. I think that's a different thing than this is a, th these, this is a list of games made by people who have this skin color. And I, I think like, maybe is this too complicated? Who says I disagree with both because you will never see a post saying share your games where you can have heterosexual relationships. Well, that's dumb because th that's dumb, Julio, because that is pretty th that is more common than ones with gay relationships. So, like, obviously, that's like the quote that, you know, that's the default. 
scenario for like a game with romance. That's the default. It, it, it's very easy to find games like that. So I think it's specific, like, you know, having a tweet where you're like, I want to find a specific list. And you know, honestly, I have no problem if you do it that way too. If you said, oh, you know, I, you know, I want a, a list where, you know, I don't know. It doesn't even have to be straight relationships. I don't know. I want to, I'm looking for, for, you know, you know, yo, post me, post me your, your, your hentai games where I can butt sex someone. You know, sure. Like, it's like, fine. Like, it's, it, it's, it, it's not probably not common. I don't know, man. I don't play those games. Right. I mean, I, I play some, but not, not, not all of them. But do you see what I mean? Can I point out this is supposed to be a moderator's profile icon as a penis belt? Wait, hold on. Isn't that? Hold on. Wait, what's what is that? Hold on, guys, uh, dude, you can't dude. <laughs> the community manager's name is based on a drug used to treat anxiety and panic disorders. It all started when I stopped locking up the crazy. We got to purge this guy from the community for the community. Yeah, yeah, this is bad. How do these people keep getting how dude dude i'm starting to think like maybe the play is to not have a community manager <laughs> what do you guys think maybe that's the play don't have a community manager go to engine is blocking people on github apparently i mean if go to engine has blocked you what they're blo yeah this is pretty bad it's pretty bad that they're blocking a bunch of uh a bunch of uh people who are supporters over like a, you know over them saying like this isn't what you should be doing the problem is like I feel like, again, I feel like this happens all the time to me where, and like people I know, not just me, but like friends I have, feel like you're kind of caught in the middle. It's either full, full crazy or, or you're not on our side. It's, it's like one or the other. It's like, if you have kind of a balanced opinion on it, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. I think I, I hope they respond to this though. Cause like, I, I don't want to change engines, you know, someone made a fork. <laughs> the CEO has been pretending that nothing is wrong. Uh oh. Like, I don't know what it, what's going on. They really, maybe like stop, maybe we, maybe we need to stop having community managers. I don't know, man. You need to like really vet your community managers because there's so many freaks. There's so many freaks that are doing community management, you know? It's like a 50% freak rate, man. Really high. I think we should only hire community managers that have a life outside the internet. That's true. You know what you should do? Do you should just tell them, okay, tell me about yourself. And if they say anything about like immutable characteristics, then you just immediately say no. If like, if the most interesting thing about yourself is your skin color or the fact that you like to, you know, fuck the same sex, then there's probably a problem. This is why people insta re reject TVs with um, pronouns. Yeah, I, I honestly don't really have a problem if people want to have like the pronoun stuff. I, I really don't care. Where I have a problem with it is when you're like, forcing it on everybody that doesn't know about that shit and doesn't want to deal with it if you want to have that like amongst your your circle of friends i don't really have a problem with it but it's like the instant you're like hey like these random people like you will call me this or i will take you to jail then that's the problem the whole like we're gonna take you to jail because you're not calling people what they want kind of dumb pronouns is a big red flag but not something you should be immediately denied yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> is it a gay jail how about this? If you don't put the effort to look like a pronoun you want to be addressed by, you can't get mad when people don't call you that pronoun. Yeah, I don't think. So. Yeah, you know, like I kind of, I kind of feel you on that, shy. Because how the fuck was the other person supposed to know? Pronouns are there, be, like, for that purpose, right? And it's like it's not really your fault if uh, that happens.